By now you should have learned about three different kinds of intermolecular forces. London dispersion forces that are also called Van der Waals forces, uh, dipole-dipole forces, and hydrogen bonding. This flowchart allows you to determine which of the three intermolecular forces is dominant in a given molecule. The first thing we're going to decide is our polar molecules present. In order to determine that, you may need to use the flowchart from last week about polar and nonpolar molecules. If there are no mo polar molecules, or another way to say that is that the molecule is nonpolar, then the molecule has dispersion forces. Please excuse the handwriting on this. Remember that dispersion forces are also called van der Waals. And sometimes it's called London dispersion. These are always the dominant intermolecular force for nonpolar molecules. So let's say it's a little bit more complicated and you have a polar molecule. Well, then you have two remaining forces to, de to decide between. You have hydrogen bonding and dipole-dipole forces left. So the first question we ask ourselves is, are hydrogen atoms bonded to fluorine, oxygen, or nitrogen? Because hydrogen bonding is fun. Huh? If you have those hydrogen bonds directly bonded, to a fluorine, oxygen, or nitrogen, then the mo molecules has hydrogen bonding. If not, and you have a polar molecule that it does not have hydrogen bonded directly to fluorine, oxygen, or nitrogen, then the molecule has dipole-dipole. Using this flowchart, you should be able to determine which intermolecular force is dominant in any given molecule. As you can see, because the first question is whether molecules are polar or not, it is really important to know how to determine whether a molecule is polar or nonpolar. Use your flowchart to determine that if you need the help.